Good morning, beloved. Psalm 51 today. Uh, it's a longer reading. It is our psalm for Ash Wednesday that you'll encounter tomorrow uh, in worship. Uh, we'll stream our evening service at 6.30 here on our Facebook page. Um, but we'll also gather for worship for a simple service of the word with the imposition of ashes there at uh, 12.30 as well in the afternoon. Um, psalm 51 here today. I invite you to read along and then we'll share devotion from Christ in our home and our partners in ministry at Augsburg Fortress. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight so that you are justified in your sentence and blameless when you pass judgment. Indeed, I was born guilty, a sinner, when my mother conceived me. You desire truth in the inward being, therefore teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God and put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore me, restore to me the joy of your salvation, and sustain in me a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from bloodshed, O God, O God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For you have no delight in sacrifice. If I were to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O oh God, you do not despise. Bible Humor is the title of our devotion today here. Let me hear joy and gladness. It's the words listed out of our text that we just encountered from verse 8. Right about now, revelers are parading around New Orleans for Mardi Gras Fat Tuesday, and around many countries for Carnival, spreading exuberance. They are getting their exuberance out before the traditionally understood solemnity of Lent begins tomorrow on Ash Wednesday. Our psalm today reminds us that too, well, we too seek joy. There is a lot of joy in and silliness to be had, even in the Bible. For example, when is baseball mentioned in the Bible? In the big inning. Uh, these are puns, Bible puns. <laughs> uh, when is tennis mentioned in the Bible? When Moses served in Pharaoh's court. I feel like I need a sounder. What kind of lights did Noah use on the ark? I'll just wait for you to type it in, because I'm sure you know even without looking at the Christ in our home. Floodlights. Yep, floodlights. I knew you, that's what you were going to say. Humor is a great gift from God that keeps us from taking ourselves too seriously. Being able to laugh at ourselves reminds us that we don't save ourselves or justify ourselves. Those are God's jobs. Addie's jokes, yes. That's all. Started with Addie's jokes, right? Um, like four years ago. Man, how time and, the, and life unfolds. So, on silly days, whether Addie's young jokes that we remember fondly, or days like Mardi Gras, on solemn days like Ash Wednesday, on all the days that God keeps creating, we can ask God to put a new and right and light spirit within me. Pray together, won't you? Restore to us the joy of your salvation, dear Jesus. Amen. And as you um, do what you do here on Ash, or, um, Ash Wednesday, I'm prepping Ash Wednesday the last little bit, so that's on my heart, mind, and heart. But as you, um, as your Tuesday unfolds before you, whether you're uh, jumping with joy uh, or not, be invited to continue in prayer uh, for thanks in, with thanksgiving for friends who help us lighten up. So thanks be to God for young Addie, for Pastor Heike. Uh, lighting up my life, uh, restore us to pancakes, yes. Uh, if you um, 
I know Susan Rivera, my director of school ministry today, looking for King Hicks all day. Um, so God bless you and God hold you, beloved. And I look forward to sharing uh, the beginning of our Lenten journey tomorrow at Ash Wednesday. And again, uh, here at 12.30 or 6.30, uh, digitally here at 6.30 in the evening. God bless you and God hold you, beloved.